a brain transplant using AI arms. That's it. It's gonna go horribly wrong. <laughs> Come on, man. 24% open, that's rubbish. I've at least got 50%. Yeah, there you go. Get them numbers up, baby. Um, hi, uh, I'm using a new set of artificial hands. These ones are calibrated to work with my muscles 100, well, 90%, let's put it like that. It's gonna cause some problems using, you know, these ones to do the precise medical procedures, but it, I, we're, huh? subscribe to us. All good, we've got dental transplants. This is gonna be fantastic. I get to try out my moving limbs just like this, and we're gonna see how it works, if it's possible to do any dental operations with these ones. And then later on, we're gonna probably do a brain transplant, a heart transplant, and all that good stuff. Ooh, the clapping didn't, it didn't mess it up. <laughs> yes, I'm a doctor, I'm so sorry. All right, here we go then, putting this on your head. Well, that is almost as good as doing it with, you know, the static controller thing. So here we go, what can I do then? Uh, we need to get rid of your teeth. It says there on this screen here that I need to get rid of your teeth somehow, these ones. So we're just, I'm just gonna try and clench my fist and punch, and punch, and punch, and punch, and punch. You can, you can see my hand there, right? You can see the yellow outline of how my hand moves. And mm, 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 mm. All right, so it's not possible to use my hands to punch, even though they are like robotics and whatnot. Um, so I'm gonna use a drill. <laughs> Get the drill. No, I'm not gonna use the drill. It's too invasive, and I don't appreciate that. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna use what the dentists use. Uh, fish hook. Oh, that's that's a mirror. You see, this is the problem with using these hands. They're they're not calibrated correctly, <laughs> which is bad for you, but good for me. It's gonna provide a lot of funny moments. Anyway, here we go. Let's grab this. There you go. This is exactly the way you hold this piece. Of thing by the way and then we're just gonna we're just gonna poke around and hope that teeth eventually will fall out yeah that's all we do okay i'm gonna hold on to your head so that you don't move too much even though you're strapped into this little vice thing but it'll it'll be good at some oh sorry i just i think this one in, into your mouth wait can i put it into your mouth no can you put it in here we go let's just take some boogers out of there <laughs> This is a lot of fun, using my hands for stuff like this. Ooh, scalpel. This is probably not the right thing to do, and it's probably gonna be horrible. Oh my God! Anyway, uh, can we get your tongue just a little bit out of the way? Can I grab it with my fingers? Like, can I just like, I'm grabbing your jaw. If you could like grab your tongue. That would be better, there you go. How does that feel, hmm? Okay, just fingers, oh fine, it's whatever. Okay, ooh, the tongue's out of the way now. I think I glued it to the top of your mouth hole. Uh, so just gonna get one of these tooth toothies. I can't press the button because, here we go. I got one teeth. No, no, oh, now I've got your brain. Oh, this, this doesn't work properly. My, the calibration is not there yet. The fine motor skills are lacking. Just like, I, I mean, I can rub your eyeballs. That's fine, I guess. Okay, let's just use this, the proper tool. Let's see if I can actually get these teeth out of here and maybe do some operations. Here we go. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, do you think this one would work on me? Oh, I, I think I punched the nerve. Oh, God. Well, I still need to get some out of here. There's gonna be bad tracking, so if I just, if I put my hands like, whoop, where the sun don't shine, <laughs> I don't have any hands anymore. I'm just gonna go a little bit wild, if you don't mind, just like this. There you go. Oh, wow, that was, that was quick, huh? Did you see that? I mean, you did, because you've got eyes. For now, I might remove them as well. Here we go. What's your, what's your tongue then? Can I, uh, ah, grab it? No, it doesn't work. Okay, this will be a tricky part because I need to use precise motor skills. I need to be extra careful to make sure that this... God, there in you go. Just stick this somehow. Oh, God. Yeah, that'll do it. Eh, did I do it? <laughs> I mean, you kind of look like... You kind of look like the the, the the toy dinosaur that says Steven. You, you've got you've got some jaw issues. Oh, it's actually connected. Look at that. I did it. Okay, and then the other one. I would like for it to like flip around. I don't know how I can grab this and like flip it. Maybe if I oh maybe if I flip my hands. Oh, that's a good idea, Wacky. Yeah, just flip your hands. Here you go. He's breathing. Oh, I did it. Operation six. Oh, that doesn't look like it's successful. Yeah, I don't know what's happened, but my hand seems to be working quite well. Uh, I'd say they're closer to like 91% accuracy. Uh, so let's hope I don't get something that requires too much accuracy because it's it's not quite there yet. I need a little bit more, a little, a little less, a little, 
Yeah, you go a little less accuracy. Oh, I see that my teeth have uh, rooted themselves just nicely into your jaw and that you've now, they've actually painted them white instead of that, you know, ugly metal color, which is lovely. Uh, and you're here now for, oh, an eye transplant. That's fantastic. Let's see if my hands are, you know, up to, this, up to the task of, of doing this. It's, yeah, uh, I need motor skills, and this is one way to find out if I've got it or not. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna gently, gently grab your eyeball, it, just like this, a little bit, yeah? And then I'm gonna pull. It's, you're gonna feel a gentle tug in your brain region. Oh, it didn't. It didn't work. Your eyeball is a little slimy, man. I'm so sorry. Uh, I really, I'm trying my best. Oops. <laughs> He's bleeding. From what? My nails? I don't have any nails. I'm pretty, oh, robot arm. <laughs> oh, 10, oh, you're losing a lot of blood. I don't even know from what. I'm just gonna spray this into your face. If my, my finger's not working. Oh no, come on. Grab it and then push it, P push it. There you go. Yes. Oh, push it. Oh, stop. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. No, no, it stopped. Come on. Oh no. Here, there you go. Oh, right, fantastic. Woohoo. <laughs> it's the fine motor skills that are not working the way they would defib. Wait, do you think, that, can I do this with my with my hands now? Hey! Yes, I can. Yeah, he's gonna be fine for a little while still. There you go, welcome back. Do your eyes work now? Did I reset them? No, I didn't. Still horribly, horribly wobbly. Oh, look at that. I can just wobble your eyeball with my, with my finger in there. That's lovely. Okay, so I'm just gonna gently try and grab your eyeball and just pull it out. Fantastic, that's exactly what I wanted. And then we're gonna use, well, I need to cut your eye, don't I? So I'm just gonna, oops. I'm, th I think I'm cutting into your skin a little bit. I'm so terrible. Oh, there we go. I did it. Oh, it came off. And then I need to patch that up real quick with my gut. It doesn't really work properly. It's, it's a little iffy on the, on the, there we go. Yes. Fantastic. Oh, Ooh, rubber ducky. <laughs> We're going to put the other eye on and now I'm going to put the wrong one on because, well, why would I put the right one when I can put the wrong one? Here we go. Just make it. <laughs> There we go, it's magically attached, and then we just gently smack it into your eye hole. Here we go, and just in, in you go. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. this is proving a lot more difficult. Come on, come on. Ah, ah son of a gun. And just, just grab your eye hole, uh, grab your eyeball, come on, and then just in you go. Mm -hmm. Yep, there, just like that. Come on, push it in, oh my God. This is really tricky. Oh, I forgot I've got this little anti-gravity thing. Oh, that's a laser. Nope, sorry, sorry, not that one. Not that one, turn off. Oh, oh. Uh, you seem to have uh, something stuck in your, uh, something. it's fine. He's not, he's actually slightly unconscious, so it's all good. Here we go, I'm just gonna use this. There you go, and push it in. Oh, that's so much easier. Let's see, do you have tracking? Hello, come on, come on, do you have tracking? I'm smacking you with my hands. Hello? Okay, so now we need to get rid of this eye. And the only thing we do, we grab it and we pull it, fantastic. And then I'm gonna try and not stab your, you know, skin. So I'm just gonna, oh, oh my God. Motor skills are here. Oh, ah. yes, no, fantastic. And then I'm gonna use. Oh, maybe if I use this little, this little, this thing, maybe this will work better. So if I just grab, I just grab that little bit. There you go. And we're just gonna gently lift it up and push it into your eye socket. This is rubbish. It's the worst tool ever. If anybody's able to do any operations with this remote rubbish, then they are a better doctor than me. That's all I'm gonna say. Ooh, okay, here we go. We're gonna use this, and you're gonna you're gonna see in 4K, buddy. That's what you're gonna. Oh, fantastic! Look at that. I did it. You're you're bleeding a little bit, but I'm gonna let the nurse take care of that. <laughs> oh, I'm starting to hone in on the uh, on the on the things here. I'm starting to learn. Oh, it feels weird tapping my my arm, and it makes a little flappy sound. Right then. Uh, Extreme caution. Let's see if I can just gently grab one of these and like slowly pull it out with my finger. Like that would be so cool if I could do it. Maybe if I like inter interlock my hands like this. Uh huh? And it, it actually, it doesn't, I can't do it. It doesn't work. Okay, oh, sorry. Sorry, just put that back in there. Oh, whoop. oh, you're bleeding a little bit. Seven milliliters. You've got like seven liters of blood in you. You can bleed for a little bit. It's fine. You know, it's like changing oil in your car. Sometimes you just gotta bleed it all out and then replace it with new and it, it'll feel wonderful. Now you need some filter changes as well, uh, which is, I don't know where human filters would be, the lungs maybe? <laughs> I'm not a doctor, by the way, I'm, I'm a YouTuber. Grab this nail and just put, oh, I did it! <gasps> oh, did you see that? Oh my God, I'm so good. I'm so good at removing foreign materials from, from skulls. I need to like grab it like this with my whole hand, like a, like a baby toddler. Come on, right, 
this, these are not so hard to pull out. I should have more friction in my fingers, I'm telling you. Wait, can I push it in? I don't think I should be able to push nails in like this. I don't think this is the way it's supposed to be done. Uh, do you think something bad will happen if I push it in too far? <laughs> oh, I'm tickling your brain with a little bit of an arm tip, am I? Your oh, nail tip, yeah. Oh. Oh, oh whoops, oh, ah. <laughs> Oh, please come back, please come back, please come back, please come back, please come back. I think I, I think I got it. I think I, I think I'm pulling that. Why can't I grab the nail? Why is this so difficult to pull the nail out? Maybe this tool will be good for this. Who knows, man? This is the worst tool I've seen in ages. Eh, grab it. Oh, oh, it's working. Oh, it's working. I just needed two hands to do this. Come on, pull the nail out. Pull it, pull it, pull it. Yeah. Oh, I did it. Oh, this is a fantastic tool if you know how to use it properly. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe I haven't been using it properly. Uh, do you guys even know what this tool is? I have no clue what this is. There you go. Hey, smell this. I had burritos for, for breakfast. I had burritos for, for breakfast. <laughs> guess, the, guess the juice is flowing. So I'm just gonna take this and just gently pull it out. Gently. I'm, I, I'm accidentally flipping you off every once in a while, but that's it's motor skills, man. They don't work 100%. It's like 90 at max. And because it's me driving them, it's probably 50 50, you know? 50 50. My mouth does not work either. Here we go. Grabbing this thing. Here we go. Pull it out. Pull it out. Oh, come on. Yes! Off. Oh, it went into your shoulder. Oh, my bad. My bad, you need to come back for a shoulder replacement. I got I got that under the belt as well. Oh, look at that, how wonderfully it's coming out. Huh? Yeah! Then we're gonna pull out the last one and we're gonna do it! We've completed a really hard surgical thing with, oh God, with my hands that are not functioning properly. <laughs> I mean, one of them is a complete robot from the beginning. Oh, heal all wounds. Well, what if, what if I don't wanna heal all wounds, huh? <laughs> Have you thought about that one? What if I just don't wanna heal all wounds? <laughs> What if I enjoy having a little bit of blood? Okay, I'll heal all the wounds. I, I just can't look at your blue face and not think of in how much pain you are. Oh, wait. Oh, healing all the wounds? Oh, of course. You're talking about the heart, okay? I'm going to heal the heart for you. It's, it's going to be over in one swoop. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to put one on your forehead and one on your belly, and it's going to reconnect it. Welcome back. Hard reset. I still need to heal all the wounds. I didn't think this one through, did I? Come on, squeeze the green juice out of it. Here we go. Eventually, you'll be healed. Oh, I did it! Operation successful! You look horrible. <laughs> My new experimental arms are here to make you feel comfortable. Uh, I'm gonna try a brain transplant using AI arms. That's it. It's gonna go horribly wrong. <laughs> Starting with a laser. All right, I'm just gonna, just, oh, ah, that's, I don't want that to happen. Okay, so here we go, just, yeah, okay, careful, careful. I mean, I'm gonna try my hardest to make this as comfortable as possible, but I'm not gonna give you any promises. Here we go, just cut through the head somehow. There you go, oop, I'm cutting through your arm as well. This, this laser is a little uh, imprecise. It's not helping by the fact that my arms are, oh God, uh, arms are uh, AI. So here we go, I've opened up your brain and now I need to, fill you up with some green juice because otherwise you're just gonna pass out on me. Come on, if my hand would work, that would be fantastic. There you go, mm-hmm. That's what I like to see. Yeah, stop the bleeding. It's not the end of the world. I mean, you've got your skull open in front of the guy with experimental arms, so. Could be worse, but not much, let's be honest. Could be worse, but not much. Oh my, my hand actually got stuck in there. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. Maybe I need to use my metal arm. Okay, so maybe, maybe the hammer. Why doesn't the hammer do anything? I need dynamite. Maybe I can open the brain with a brain. Oh, it works. I'm just using this really ooh, uh, sensitive, uh, like high technology brain to smack open uh, a living brain. But, I mean, if it can't take the beating of this, it should not be in somebody's head, let's be honest. Come on, then. 24% open. That's rubbish. I've at least got 50%. Yeah, there you go. Get them numbers up, baby. Now, this is not the most delicate procedure that I need to do because I need to disconnect that little flubby thing as well, which is going to be hard using these ones. Maybe the hammer was a good thing. I just didn't whack it hard enough. Boom, boom, boom. Man, I, I look like such a amateur with this hammer. This is not the way you use a hammer. You usually hold it like this and then you whack it real good on top of a nail or something. But no, here I am using a rubber mallet on a brain. Well, I'm using it on the bone or surrounding the brain. 
Well, there we go, did it. Okay, now I need to disconnect the brain. Now that's the part that's a little iffy because I need to somehow maneuver my sketchy hands close enough to the brainstem or thingy bit bubble bub, 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 over there and like cut them open. And then I can remove the brain and put a new one in. This is gonna be the most delicate thing I can do with my experimental hands to begin with. So, kitchen knife. That'll get the job done. Do, 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 do. Just, okay, if you could stop bleeding, that would be fantastic. The kitchen knife is the perfect tool. Look, it's getting the job done. There you go, and just that bit. Look, I did it! You know, I just, the only thing I now need to do is make sure you don't bleed out. Come on, my hand or my, my finger is stuck under, oh, look at this. This is not the way you hold a tool. That's a brain. Oh God, just come on, there you go. Oh yeah, uh-huh. I don't know what's happened over here, but something is clearly freaking out. And it's not this guy. It might be you. Are you with me? Can you just put this in, into your brainstem like this? There you go. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that in there and then we're gonna put the brain in here. Cool, that looks like a successful operation to me.